Hi, welcome back to Repairing Lawnmowers for Profit. In this video, I'm going to do something I've wanted to test for a while with these little Briggs carbs. I've heard that on some videos and some forums that you can actually try and run these with two diaphragms on. So I'm going to strip this carb off here and I'm going to try this because a lot of people are buying cheap diaphragm and gaskets off eBay and they're not working because they're too thin. So I want to test out this method and see what happens when we strip down this carb put one gasket on and two diaphragms so we'll quickly whip off this carb we'll test this before we uh, strip it down to see what it's running like put two diaphragms on build it back up and see if it runs so I don't really advise doing this but apparently people are doing this because of the quality of the parts I suggest buying yourself a genuine Briggs and Stratton gasket set which I will link to in the video description but just to kind of prove the myth and test this out I'm going to strip this down once I've just uh, had a quick test of this mower see how it runs, strip the carb down and we'll uh, we'll test it see how it runs with two diaphragms one thing I will say about this is I can't really understand why people are doing this I mean are they buying just packs of ten really poor diaphragm and gaskets really really cheap and trying to just cut corners I don't know why they would do it but I'm interested to know if these machines run with two diaphragms on I'm never going to do it myself but I want to prove the point to myself that it actually won't work because I don't think it will and even if it does I'm not going to do it but let's see if it works anyway while I'm out here right this is actually uh, my own lawnmower this one and it's been in bits and everything probably hundred times to kind of nick parts of it and all sorts now it runs fine but it always tends to sound to kick back and I've never ever resolved that on this even though the, the actual uh, keyways are both alright so I'm going to start it up anyway and um, we'll watch it running just to prove that it kind of runs alright and then we'll um, swap out these diaphragms so I know this runs alright because I used it last weekend for the first time this year um, once it's had its little pull at my arm with its pull cord it, uh, it runs alright it always bounces a little bit there. get the general idea it's obviously it's running all right it's my own lawnmower um i want to make sure it works all right for me so let's just quickly take off this carb this tank this diaphragm and gasket and swap it for two diaphragms and see what we get right so let's quickly whip off this uh this tank here I'll take this air filter off i'm going to leave this cover on on this one and take this off here i think if i remember right on on this uh this mower I think I actually put 10, uh, 10 mil bolts through on both parts here, here and here because I used to swap this over so regular to test mowers. It's a really good tip to leave yourself a, a good carbon tank set of your nose working all right. Leave it on your bench and then if you get loads of mowers to do and it's not running right you can swap out the carb and the tank and just see if it's a carb problem or not. So take that out of there. Grab that. Take this spark plug lead off as well, even though I'm not intending to go anywhere near starting it. Grab this off here, and this should come off. That's already off, so we could pull this down here, take that off. We've already got this hooked off here, and this is the best way to test a mower that's still revving up and down after you've serviced the card. Pull one off a mower you know it's running right, or keep a separate one on your bench. Put it on the lawnmower and find out if it's a carb issue or not. You save yourself a lot of time doing that, and that's a really good tip. Right, so let's quickly do this. Set off these six screws on here, nice and tight. You can tell I've put them on myself. <laughs> so I don't even think this is the original carbon tank that came with this lawnmower. This um, there's a little bit of a story to this lawnmower because for anybody who's kind of new to the channel. I bought this lawnmower when I bought my house around I don't know, 20 years ago now actually. Um, after a couple of years it broke and revved up and down. I worked out how to fix it watching some YouTube videos and stuff. And that's kind of how I got into repairing these lawnmowers. Um, but what happened was about I don't know, five years ago I, um, I sold it. I sold this lawnmower um, and I just kept a different one that I had at the time. I think it was a mass part one I had. And then about a year later I saw this lawnmower for sale on Facebook and went and picked it up. And when I got it home I realised it was my old lawnmower. It, I'd actually sold and rebought my own lawnmower. So, <laughs> I don't know if you ever see, uh, there's, a, there's a, 
a sitcom, like a situation comedy program over here in the UK called Only Fools and Horses. And I don't know if anyone remembers, but Rodney uh, bought loads of lawnmower engines once and like was trying to make a profit. Made a, basically uh, made a small profit because his brother bought them all off this guy, and then he went and bought some more. It was quite funny anyway. So uh, it was a little bit like uh, a Rodney moment. So this has already got yeah a diaphragm and gasket on here. You can see. I'll take this off here. So what we've got here. I'm trying to separate this to show you. Is you get the diaphragm. It's the thinner part at the bottom. You see when you split this, the thinner part here is the diaphragm, but I've heard what people are doing to get these running if, if they've serviced the carb and they're, they're still not running right, is they just put an extra diaphragm on so this could be a really good tip for anybody who's serviced the carb who can't get it running right and can't understand it because they've been through all the process of servicing the carb and it's all clean and tidy and they're quite frustrated because they put it back together and the lawnmower kind of won't run so I'm kind of laughing about this because I don't see the point of it but if it runs alright with another diaphragm on, then it might kind of get you out of a bit of trouble. So it could it could be something you could try if you service the carb and it still doesn't run right. So if it runs alright with two diaphragms and one gasket, then I could kind of suggest that you can try this really. So we've got an extra diaphragm on there. Um I need to find my old one. This one I haven't been on too long really, so I'm gonna put this back on. As I said, we've checked this is running alright. So we'll pop this one back on, like that, yeah, I don't know why but even I've done hundreds of these I still trouble to get it right way around. So we'll get that back on there like that. We'll just quickly pop this back in here. Must make sure this little spring's on under here by the way, there's a little spring under here. I'm going to put it on. I'm really interested to see what it runs like with two diaphragms. Because that spring is designed to kind of bounce up and down, spring up and down and, and vibrate and that's what pumps the fuel through the diaphragm. It picks up the fuel that actually sends this to this car and the engine and makes it run. So I'll be interested to see how it runs with two diaphragms. So I'm just thinking off the top of my head as I'm doing this really, but I'm thinking that that's going to be too thick really. But if it works, it works. And I, I'm, I'm going to remember I've done this because if I get a lawnmower occasionally, and it ain't very often you get a lawnmower that you service, and no matter what you do with it, it still revs up and down even though you've checked you know, the kill switch, you've checked all the keyways, you've checked everything else, the plug, no matter what you do it sort of spits and pops and still revs up and down a bit and it's kind of frustrating but if this actually runs correctly now then it may be a case with your one though that it might run correctly with two diaphragms on after you've serviced the carb, so let's bolt this back on, let's try it. I wish really, well I don't wish because it's my lawnmower, I kind of wish I had a mower that was revving up and down after I'd just serviced it and I couldn't kind of fix it, then we could have tried this. So if you're in that position, I'm going to suggest you try putting two diaphragms on here. This is what I love about these Briggs ones, they're just so quick to take parts off and put them back on, try stuff. So, again I've said this on millions of videos, but these two washers always fall out of the back. Carb, you need to put these back in. I'll put this black one in here like this. I'm going to put the white one behind it here like that. And hook up this linkage. This is annoying because this gets in the way. But um, hook up this linkage here like that. Push this back on like that. Get that. hand tighten that bolt through there always get this other one through first as well by the way and line them up before you tighten anything up otherwise you'll have an uneven carb so always put this front front bolt in by the way it might seem like it doesn't do anything but it actually holds the tank nice and level so you want that in there and I just generally hand tighten them make sure everything moves about and just tighten this back up and you might notice that um, I've got a 10mm on both of these, I said earlier, I really like that because it just makes it easy for me to strip this all down. So we've got that on, I'll pop this air filter back on here, like this, stick this back in. Just to give it a fair test, I could leave the air filter off but I want to put it in a back, 
in the position that it was in when we tested it before just to make sure everything's kind of equal so pop that back in there and then we'll start this motor up and see what it runs like and if it runs all right i'm just going to leave it to be honest right now normally i've just stopped filming now but just to prove that i'm kind of not you know making things up and i'm actually doing them live is i'll just leave it running and we'll just start this up right now so i'll move my tripod with you there and we'll uh, start up this mower see what we get Back plug lead. great two diaphragms on so if you've got a lawnmower that's spitting and popping if you've serviced the carb and it's still not running right you might want to try fitting two diaphragms onto these carbs now the diaphragm don't forget is the thinner part so you want to swap over one diaphragm for two and leave one gasket on which is the thicker parts the diaphragms actually go on first onto the carb and then the gasket sits on on top of that so just a quick tip if you've got a lawnmower that's spitting and popping revving up and down after you've serviced it you might want to try two diaphragms Right, so that's just a, a quick idea. If you've got a lawnmower that's still not running right after you've serviced it, you can hear outside today, I can hear people around us, kind of lawnmowers starting to fire up, people doing bits in the garden, and the weather's just about to start to pick up. So if you haven't started repairing lawnmowers for profit, get yourself on Facebook Marketplace and eBay. Pick one of these little cheap Briggs mowers up. You know, get it stripped down in your garden. Follow some of the videos here on the channel. Make yourself a bit of profit this summer. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet and you like the content or it's helped you out, please leave me a comment and subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate that. Thanks for watching. See you next time.